Uh, how about actor Joe Montaigne? That's right, Joe Montaigne. His wife Arlene owns the Taste of Chicago, a hot dog stand out in Los Angeles. Montaigne and fellow Chicagoan, also comedian Tom Dreesen, sat down, had a little dinner, and talked about the Bears. So, Tommy, we got the Super Bowl coming up on next Sunday. What do you think? I'm betting on the Bears, and I'll tell you why I'm betting on the Bears. I'm, 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 well, of I'm course you're betting on the Bears, yeah. I'm from Harvey. There isn't a lot of money left in Harvey, but whatever money is left, whatever money that, that, that after, the, after the last raid they had in Harvey, whatever money's left, bet it on the Bears in seven. It's, it's, true. A, it's a lot. Exactly, yeah. I'm from Cicero. I, I, I know guys that probably already know the final score. You're from Cicero? I'm from Cicero. Okay. That's where the guys from Harvey learn how like, to run government. Exactly. They're like twin cities. Yeah. It's kind of like Beverly Hills and Khan. <laughs> it's like Harvey and Cicero. Harvey and Cicero. Yeah, the twin sister cities. Sister cities, yeah. Sister cities. Yeah. I'm a little concerned. Can I be honest with you? Yeah, be honest with right. me. I'm concerned. I'm concerned. The last time we won the Super Bowl, we won it with a guy named Iron Mike, and now we got a guy named Lovey Smith. I don't know. Oh, that's true. We got to go from Iron Mike to Lovey. Lovey Smith, yeah. We got we got a guy named Erlocker. That's a name. That's a real Chicago. He name. disappointed me. He disappointed me in the New Orleans game don't when Reggie. Him, when Reggie. Don't let him know here, fair that. Burlacher disappointed me, and I'll tell you why. When Reggie yeah. Bush goes in the end zone yeah. and taunts Burlacher oh, yeah. and he, does a double back flip, tell me what Dick Butkus would have done to a Reggie beating, Bush. A beating. A He'd beating. He caught a beating. He got a beating. He'd, He'd have got caught a, a real beating. Butkus would have went in the end zone and tackled him, and and what else? That's right. And, and bit him. And bit him. That's he would have bit him. He'd have beat him. He'd have beat him and bit him. Beat him and bit him right there. This is true. Well, well that's okay. This is the 21st century. We, they're trying to have less biting in the NFL than they used to. The Bears. What can I say? The Bears. Even without Iron Mike Ditka, and you know when I did that 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 the Bears skit, you know, back 20 years ago. He talked about how the Bears could win even if Mike Ditka was shrunk down to mini Ditka. <laughs> and the Bears were shrunk down to the mini Bears. That's how I feel about them now. I think even, uh, even if they were shrunk down maybe three quarters, they'd still beat the Colts. Indianapolis, I mean, what? That's a college basketball town. What do they know about football? Uh, two of Chicago's greatest. You could sit in and listen to them talk about the Bears for day on end. All right, when we come